Hi there. Um, today I'm in my gi. Quite unusual to sit in my gi, to sit and be in my gi. My intention was to do some uh, tidies outside, but uh, a small plane decides to pull a glider. If we're near a glider club, and it seems to want to pull a glider, or the planes do, every few minutes, and so I thought I'd come inside because I had these thoughts about some comments and questions really I've had lately. Even though you don't know the people on YouTube that uh, write in, well I don't, you, know, you can perhaps go to their YouTube site but you don't really get a full picture. On Facebook's a little bit better because you can click on their page and you know, see see what they do what they could get an age roughly but but normally from the younger people and there's not many younger ones out there nowadays doing Aikido sadly or there's the very young um, who clubs who teach children fill them up with masses usually more like a creche than a martial arts centre but anyhow I, I'm digressing I'd like to talk a bit about what uh, feedback I've been getting on uh, some of my latest films. Does Aikido have to evolve was one of them. Um, does your Aikido work is another one. I Iwama versus Hombu, Hombu versus Iwama. Or... And all the ones that are asking like questions, what do you think? Some people have quite an aggressive answer. We shouldn't get aggressive about another person's chosen art. And even if it's an Aikido, there's so many styles out there that you know they might be classed as different arts going under the name of Aikido. But one keeps coming up. Um, MAA, BJJ, I think it's the BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Anyhow, these two come up more than anything, and it normally it's coming up from what I call the younger person who brings in the comments. But the big thing is they're saying that Aikido is out of date and it's old and it should evolve and it should modernise if it wants to attract people. So why not add some MAA fighting skills, BJJ fighting skills, into Aikido? Now there's some teachers out there that are doing this. They've decided to add it. They may be decided to add it because, you know, they want to hold the attention of a, a wider group. They might do it because they feel genuinely that Aikido has a lot of weaknesses and it needs uh, some real fighting skills in it. I'll make the list. Okay, it's not a comprehensive list. It's I've been around so long it's pretty much just straight from my head. I'm just going to read out in no particular order what I sense he took. Yeah, was he a fantastic martial artist? Well, I think so, and perhaps some of you agree with me. But in the UK here, we have a bird called a magpie. It steals things. You know, it can steal washing off the line. It can steal anything that shines, like coins, or, you know, they're known to steal things. <coughs> so I sense he really was a bit of a magpie, wasn't he? I mean, the list is endless, but there's just a few. He took things from Daitaru, locks, pins, quite an aggressive art when you look at the films of Daitaru. Movements from Naganata, rifle, bayonet, tanto, sword, katana, staff, spear. He took Japanese arts. Uh, the parts he liked from the Japanese arts. Not the attacking, but 
the uh, development of man the manipulation of what to do if being attacked. He discovered that it would be better to work on multiple attack. Well, if he's got multiple arts and ideas, why not? He's only got to think about one thing and that's being attacked. He hasn't got to think about attacking them. So he's halved the problem. But he also was a bodyguard and he went to China. So he's taken some Chinese arts. I know this for a fact with my Tai Chi master showing me techniques that only masters know this. What he classes secret techniques. One was Koshinagi. One was Shomenuchi Ikkyo. We don't class them as secret techniques that only masters would perform or know about. He became very religious. He would every day pray to the Kame, the gods. He would do chanting. His kiais could be heard around the village. They were so loud. A lot of people thought he was, he was mad. Um, he, he believed in spirits, the sort of spirits that ghosts are attached to, not the spirit within you that I talk about. So, do you think really, I mean this is a question, it'd be nice to hear your answers, do you think really that he needs that Aikido needs anything more adding. It's the youngest martial art that's out of Japan. It's not thousands of years, years old, but what he's taken the bits from is, ah, oh, I should say. So perhaps it does need modernizing, but if you haven't got enough in your armory out of all the things that I've just spoken about, to defend yourself against somebody in the street, or multiple attack. Saito Sensei used to say as well, as O Sensei, think of one as many and think of many as one. It was reminded to me by uh, my very good friend Miles Kessler Sensei, I haven't seen him for a long time, only on film. So, the younger people, they seem to want more, and yet the older people say, well, are you prepared to commit to it? You might like watching MAA and BJJ on your YouTube channel, or some of you may have even seen it live. But how many will actually study and practice they don't just get in the ring and learn a few moves with their arms and legs. It takes devotion, it takes like a like a Olympian. It means many, many hours work, many hours of suffering. It's not an easy road, but it's a really enjoyable one. Yes, you get a few breakages, sometimes unnecessarily in Aikido. It's never meant to each other, we don't mean to hurt each other, but sometimes it happens. So, this is the question I'm asking you all. I don't personally think that Aikido needs to evolve because we're evolving. We're evolving by learning and understanding more. We're understanding more and then we're going deeper inside ourselves. And we change, but so many Aikidoka and the masters that have gone before us, and perhaps I will, I don't know, I try not to, I try to keep the strong basics. Because, you see, I don't have the right to change the basics. I don't have the right to change an Ikkyo, a Shianagi. I don't have the right to, halfway through, Shianagi, 
if there is one, add a piece of MMA, you know, with my knees or my feet. The beauty evolves within you as you do these techniques. You're not doing them, well I hope you're not, to go out into the street and show how good you are or pick a fight just to test your Aikido. Yes, you hear the stories of the olden days where people would. Saito Sensei told me once a story. I won't tell you it because it was rather ruthless and, and for many it might put them off following him. But when you're that good and that powerful and um, not the Mafia there, is it, but uh, the Yakuza or whoever ask you to do something, perhaps your skills are there and you cannot say no if you want to live a peaceful life. There's always something or someone greater than you. But for now, this film was to talk about how many things can you add to the list that I've spoken about? And then ask yourself, why would Aikido, or Osense's Aikido, that none of us have accomplished yet, none of us have reached his height. When I chant, I usually do it in my own room. I don't like to think of going out in this village and chanting. People start thinking I'm crazy and um, stiff upper lip and being English, I shouldn't do things like that. I don't know about your country, but, you know, chant in a hall with other Aikidoka and it's great fun. And it's more than great fun. It's a resonance that takes you to another dimension. Religion, well, that's up to you. If you want to believe in a religion, please uh, believe in it and go as deep as you can. I ask you not to press it upon another person though, it's your religion and if they see the fruits in you, where you, when you glow and you become a better person, they will perhaps ask you about that religion and then start to follow it themselves. These are the wisest words I can give you from somebody who's seen many religions and don't like any of them because they've caused too many deaths for me. But that would be starting to get into politics. If I had to follow a religion, perhaps I would become a, a Buddhist, I don't know. But so far I haven't taken the step to religion, but I've taken many other steps that Osensi showed. So thank you for your time. Please, um, if you wish, contribute to my Patreon page. When it says more down below, if you click on that, it'll tell you the link how to get there, where I, I go in depth, in detail, detail, piece by piece, technical information. I also do talks, but they're mainly uh, technical. On the YouTube channel here, I often uh, do more talking than I do technical. But who knows what the future will be. Thank you for your time.